assalamu alaikum i am tayyib sanzad i am from pakistan our topic is law of conservation of energy energy can neither be created nor destroyed but it can change from one form to another form the total amount of energy remains constant in an isolated system you know the meaning of energy the ability to do work is called energy mainly its two forms are important kinetic energy and potential energy let us explain with the help of diagram that is law of conservation of energy consider a ball is present at point a ball is present point a now at this point its uh, total energy can be calculated as follows i have described that most important forms of energies are kinetic energy and potential energy now velocity at point a is zero so kinetic energy is equal to half mv square if we put value of v inside this equation we will get kinetic energy zero joules similarly you know that at point a height of ball is h its mass is m so its potential energy can be calculated p is equal to mgh now total energy total energy that is equal to t is i am making its abbreviation as t t is equal to total energy now total energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy you know that total energy is equal to potential energy and kinetic energy now kinetic energy is zero joule potential energy is equal to mgh if we put value of p and k after this discussion we have arrived at this result that at point a total energy is mgh at point o total energy is half mv square while point b total energy is mgh which is same that is at point a so from this discussion we can say that energy can neither be created nor destroyed it may change from one form to another form but the total amount of energy of an isolated system remains constant simple for the expression of the conservation of energy that is simple pendulum if we displace bob of simple pendulum from position o to a now at point a its height is h so its potential energy pe is equal to mgh while velocity at extreme position that is at point a will be equal to zero so kinetic energy at point a is equal to half mv square when we put value of v inside this equation so we get k is equal to 0 joule now total energy total energy at point a is equal to mgh plus 0 that is equal to mgh now when this bob moves from a to o position 
इस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी डिक्रीज वॉयल इस काइनेटिक एनर्जी विल बी इंक्रीज ड्यू टू इंक्रीजिंग वेलोसिटी नो वेलोसिटी एट पॉइंट ओ इज मैक्सिमम दैट इज वी सो काइनेटिक एनर्जी एट पॉइंट ओ इज इक्वल टू हाफ एम वी स्केयर बट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ए टू ओ पोजिशन इज जीरो दैट इज रेफरेंस पॉइंट और देर इज नो हाइट फॉर द बॉब सो इट्स पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी जीरो ड्यू टू हाइट जीरो सो काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी by addition we get half m v square plus 0 that is equal to half m v square it mean total energy at point o is half m v square half m v square due to inertia this bob cannot stop at this position so it will move toward position b and at position b its velocity will be zero while its height is maximum so at position b kinetic energy is zero joule because velocity is zero potential energy is equal to mgh because maximum height is required by bob so total energy at point p is equal to 0 plus mgh that is t is equal to mgh from this example we have considered that bob moves from a to 0 its potential energy is changed into kinetic energy and uh, when bomb moves from position o to b its energy is changed that is potential energy now at point b we can calculate kinetic energy ke is equal to half m v square we know the value of v square is equal to 2 gs so after putting the value of v square inside this equation we get this equation now 2 and 2 will be cancel now kinetic energy at point b will be mgs let us calculate potential energy at point b now we know that the distance covered of ball is s from a to b the remaining height from earth to point b will be as h minus s the distance covered from a to b is as total height is h so the remaining distance from c to b will be h minus s so formula of potential energy is equal to p is equal to mgh height from c to b or b to c is h minus s if we solve this equation further we will get mgh minus mgs our total energy at point b will be as total energy at point b is equal to kinetic energy kinetic energy plus potential energy Our total energy is equal to 
kinetic energy that is mgs potential energy mgh minus mgs now mgs is positive this mgs is negative so it will be cancelled the remaining equation will be as that is mgh now we know that at point a total energy is mgh after covering the sense as at point b total energy of the system is mgh so it is proved energy can neither be created nor destroyed it may change from one form to another form and the total amount of energy of an isolated system is conserved now suppose friction of air is negligible when we drop this ball from position a to downward then its initial velocity is equal to vi that is equal to 0 0 meter per second after some time at position b it will cover distance as cover distance that is equal to s now at point b its velocity will be final velocity that is equal to vf or simply v now gravitational acceleration gravitational acceleration is equal to g according to third equation of motion we can calculate as vf square minus v s square is equal to 2 g s or putting the value of vf vi g s we can get final velocity v f b square minus v i that is zero square is equal to 2 g into s so v square is equal to 2 g s t e or total energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy a value of potential energy is equal to mgh kinetic energy is equal to zero so total energy at point a is equal to mgh